There's a free online tool called Leopix that could turn any picture into a full video animation. And the way it does this is called depth animation. Basically, it creates a 3D image that separates the background and the foreground and creates that kind of motion. Now, to use the Leopix converter, you just have to go to this website that I'll link below, convert.leopix.com, and you just have to create a free account on the very first step. Then you'll come to this page, and it's really easy to use. I'll show you two different examples of what you could do here. All you have to do is press upload right here. And I'll just choose this image I created in mid journey just now and I'll press open here. And look at this, it's created this motion right here and I didn't do anything just yet, but you can change a lot about how this looks. Right over here, you got several different settings. My favorite is the animation length. This is basically the length of your video. Mine is set to five seconds right now, but if you wanted to make it go faster, you could turn it to three seconds, or this is the longest, is six seconds. Animation style is gonna change the way it's moving. So horizontal is gonna kind of move it side to side. You have a bunch of different options, but perspective is the one I had set to, and I really like the perspective option here. And the amount of motion, you could make it move a lot more. The regular amount is very subtle movement, so I typically leave it here. Less, you almost can't tell unless you change how fast the motion is in some of the other settings. So I'm gonna leave this to regular. Focus points, if you have background and foreground that are both in focus, you could change that, but typically you wanna leave that on center. And edge detection, if the edge, basically the way separating the foreground and background doesn't look so great, you could actually dial this up. But if I dial this up, it's gonna get worse in this specific image. And then you have some advanced filters here. This gets a little bit more complicated, but think of, the Y axis, the X axis, and basically a Z axis in 3D worlds. So you could move things that way. So if I shift in the Y axis, you could see it's kind of moving it in a different way and you could move it in 3D space with the Z. But I wouldn't worry too much about these more advanced settings. And you also have depth map. This makes it far more complicated for what most people need to do, but I'll make a more advanced video on the depth settings here. So right there, we got ourselves an animation. I'll show you one more. This one's from pixels.com. And as you could see, this one, almost everything is in focus, but you still could change all the different settings that we had available. But now the focus point does make a little bit of a bigger difference here. If I change the focus point to the center, to the far end, the background, or to the closer objects here. So it's gonna make it a lot more of a motion here. And the edge detection here, now if I go very high, you could see it's doing a really bad job. So I definitely wanna be closer to zero in this case to get a much better result. So it really depends on the settings, but by default, it usually does the best possible job, but you could alter it. Now, to share this outside of this platform, all you have to do is press share right here, and you're gonna get a few different options for sharing it. You could just copy this link so people then will be redirected here. You could share it directly to social media, but my favorite is a video file, so a MP4, that's a common video file. Most of the videos on YouTube are MP4 format. So you could go ahead and download it and post it to your favorite social media just from here. And you also have a GIF format too. So you could kind of get the full size GIF here, press download or save. And I'll show you the video file here. This is playing on my desktop, very nice. We're also finishing an entire platform, a Netflix style video platform for learning AI. It's gonna have complete courses, entire tutorials on all the different AI tools, both in the world of creativity and design, but also general AI tools that all of us could really take advantage of. So make sure you sign up for that, link is in the description. I hope you found this video useful. I'll see you next time.